I'm going to do a quick little video. It'll be my first one if I upload it to YouTube. Um, I watched a lady make these flowers out of strips of cloth oh, last week, Monday, and I thought how cool they were. This looks like an old rag rug. Actually, so does this. Um, so today I was bored and I thought, well, can I do something new? So I sat down and made what, two, four, six of them. So I'm going to make one on the camera and we'll just see if it works. She took a piece of book page. She made it and then tore the circle. I tore my circle and then made them. I'm just learning. I'm sure there's a prettier way to make them. Hers was really pretty. I'll have to put her name on the video when I get done. So, oh, that's, I'll leave that on the bottom. So what she did was, let's see. Well, first, I have a couple things here that I could attach one to. Just grab some stuff. This is a journal that I've started a long time ago. I can't remember what it was a box from. Some kind of probably macaroni or something. It's cardboard. It, it was a, a box from the cupboard. And I have three journals in it. Three journals, three signatures. It's just been sitting. It's, just, it's a, a plain writing journal with no um, old book page in it or anything. But I just quit on it. So maybe I'll make one for that and get it finished. Put some stuff around it. Let's see. That's actually kind of fun. I like this with it. Well, anyway, it's just a thought. Okay, so she took, let's see, maybe I'll make one to go with this rabbit. So this is my uh, fraction of my uh, ribbon, lace, silk, fake silk, you name it. Um, let's see, what do I have? It's kind of pretty. Do that and the blue. My little grandson Damien, hello Damien, and my granddaughter Adlin have been hounding me to death. These don't match, but we don't care. To make a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, that's one. It's variegated. Okay. Um, I made the channel and I never went any further because in my mind I need to get a good camera and if I'm going to do it I need to do it right whatever that is Let's see if this will rip this might not even rip oh yeah it's going to rip it's going to rip crooked these scissors are full of glue and you name it Okay, looks like I might need to just cut it. I don't know where my scissors are all at. Grandma, make a movie. Grandma, you should put a video up. Like they're gonna watch it. The grandkids are all very creative. Not because of me. Just I always say they all have their own talents. It's nothing to do with me. So what she did was she tied them together.
I don't know how I never saw this little craft before. I thought I knew everything or have seen everything. It doesn't mean I know how to do it. Boy, these scissors are crap. I'm very hard on my scissors. Okay. And she put a little spot of glue on. Oh, where are my little glue fingery things? She twisted. Stuff is so fine. Let's see, should we go this direction? I bet it would be pretty if I worked lace in it. The glue gun is disgusting. It's got moss on it and you name it. Doing this. Then she reversed it. I think I've had this glue gun for over 20 years. I I think I was hauling it around to craft shows when my kids were little. It needs to die on me so I can get a new one. How pretty is that? Probably not very pretty to some people, but to weirdos like me that I think they have to make something out of nothing. I think I'll work some lace in it later. I'm going to go the other direction. You know what this is? When I broke my leg, uh, summer before last, I broke my ankle actually. And it was excruciating and terrible. And I um, had to do crafts on my lap, of course, because I can't just not do anything. I had my daughter-in-law put one of my rag rugs in the wash it for me and dry it and it was a great big like I had two of them five feet by wide 36 inches or more I had her um, wash and dry them and I sat on the couch with my foot up and ripped them into strips it was a freaking mess an absolute mess they're made in India or somewhere in Asia, I believe India. And um, there was there were pieces of saris in there, like you know the sari dresses the women wear, sari silk. Uh, some had well here at the um, sequin in it, sequins, sequin. Um, because their dresses are so elaborate and gorgeous. So there were just literally strips of just, you name it, in those rugs. You can get them at Walmart for like $4, $3. Um, so I tore one apart. I had a walker. <laughs> so I laid this, because I'm a little bit ADHD. Everything has to be orderly. Um... I hung the colors by color order 
down my walker. And I got a curtain rod and put it on my craft room wall, a literal curtain rod, about four foot long, and color ordered <laughs> strips down that. Tied them in bundles, red bundles, orange. Did it by rainbow order. <sighs> so it's no longer there, but and I have a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna stand this. I'll just stick this in there. All my scissors are in another room. that in. What can we do to this to make it pretty? Let's see. Let me see. And Mindy gave me a bunch of jewelry and stuff to books to do something with. Oh, I wonder if I can get this apart. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I can. There you go, Mindy. Let's see. I need tweezers. Hmm. Well, don't have any. I'll just drop these little. Fake pearls. In here. my blow dryer out and attack these glue strings. Let's see. One there. One there. There you go, Mindy. Thank you. Everybody always thinks of me when they have stuff to get rid of. I don't know why. I haven't figured that out yet. Let's see. Maybe we'll put a couple more. Concentrating. Does anybody else have to have two or three things going at once and they just can't? seem to sit down and finish one project. I'm really bad about it. I never realized 
I wonder if I was that way my whole life. I don't know. I always have to have a lot of things going. I start something and then I see something out of the corner of my eye. And then I just, I have to go do it. And I have just stuff everywhere going. This sweatshirt is really annoying me. Okay, let's see. That's going to be very pretty. This is kind of pretty. See what I mean? Look at this. This was part of that rug. And I've been walking on it for a couple of years. Does that sound gross? Believe me, we washed it. I think I just screw that all on. I don't know, maybe I ruined it. What I need is some old lace. I don't think I have any out here. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Clearly tore that off of something at one time. It's a piece of old crochet that I, I believe, I bought a tablecloth that was crocheted all the way around it. I don't like that. That's a no.
sticking to me. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a bright baby. All right. Well, this is a decked out bunny. I'm kind of afraid. Anyway, that's the flowers. Kind of cute. All right, so there's that. Then I have these little um what do you call them not accordion um oh my gosh it starts with c i can't think of it well anyway blah 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 you do this little file folder type thing that i made i haven't finished that i have two of them because why would i do that so i was wondering if this might fit on, and I like that little bit of book page showing. That bird. Down here in one corner. Around the back. Maybe on the front. Maybe I'll put it on the front and put magnets in it. This one. This one and see, I added green. She didn't do that, but I put little green leaves on it. I don't like this, it's too big. This, I like this. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Here it goes. But yeah. I don't have any of my stuff out here. Concertina, that's the word, a little concertina folder. I made this, aren't they cute? It's nothing I invented, millions of people are making them. Um, what's this? No, all right, I'm gonna call that good. Now I got this little thing. I made these a couple years ago. I make stuff and then I just set it on a shelf. I don't try to sell them or sometimes I just give stuff away. I'm at somebody's house. I just take a little thing. That might work. That's kind of cute. On some count. Let's do that. Let's see. Then I can throw it back on the shelf. Not a shelf, actually. It's a big wardrobe full of crap. That's cute. I don't even have to glue that. Okay, there's a little flower in that. Let's see. Get an old rusty, my rusty safety pins. Um, that's stupid. 
stupid. Why do I have it on a brand new one? Fuck. Okay. Tie a shorter knot. There's one rusty pin. Here we go. That is way cute. I need to put some coffee on that to make it ugly. Okay. Put a few old buttons on. Let's see. I like this bells and berries. Bells and berries. Really old button. I have sniffles. My cat's going to the vet tomorrow. Some days he has goopy eyes. And then I say, I'm going to call and get a vet appointment. And then the next day, he doesn't have goopy eyes. They're just fine. So I'm thinking... Google tells me, oh, it's an allergy because I Google. And then it's back again. So this morning, ugh, they were really bad. So he gets to go to the vet tomorrow. What the heck is that? There. I need more of that. Da, da, da. Oh, I watched a podcast today, a couple of them, with Lex Friedman. I love him. He was born and lived in Russia for, I don't know what age he left, nine-ish, came to America. And he was talking about, Rick Rubin was on there, who's a producer for many, many of the greats, a record company a producer. And he was talking about when he was a kid in Russia how the Beastie Boys and Metallica and those types of music were banned. Boy, we got it good in America, guys. And um, he said, I heard you got to fight for your right to party. Well, anyway, it was amazing when he told about it. And he, they played a little snippet of it. Anyway, Rick Rubin, who is, I think, something like 59 now, brilliant man. He... Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking, gluing. He produced them, and he was in his early 20s. That was a 1986 song. Can you believe it? I feel freaking old. 86. I had a 83, 85, 89. I had my two kids by then. I was a late starter with kids. I'm old. But anyway, um, Wow. He's done the Beatles, Paul McCartney, Beastie Boys, Jay-Z. Oh, gosh. He's a brilliant man. He's a, looks like a wild man hippie. Very soft-spoken. Lex Friedman is a brilliant, brilliant scientist. There we go. I'm done. I'm not going to do any more. I just thought those little flowers were so fun. I have two left. Nope, three left. I could put one on this book, I guess. This is kind of... Oh, I might do that. Let's see if I have any piece of church. Let's see. Where's that butterfly? I had a butterfly here. a lot of weird stuff.
if you have Apple TV, you've got to start watching Truth Be Told. Um, I don't have regular television. It's on... Um, put this in here. It's on Apple TV. Or maybe it's an Apple TV show. I don't know. I have too much... Too many different channels. Um, truth be told, it is so freaking good. It's really good. Really good. I should have put this behind. Too late. There, that just added a little bit. What else do I have? Um, I'm in the wrong room, guys. Okay, I'm going to call it quits, I think. What's this? Yeah, I don't want that. That's good. I need to finish this journal. Pedal my wares. That'll work. Oh, that's pretty. That is such a pretty book. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I have become a new lover of the peach color. Here we go. So, I quit. I quit. That's it. Sayonara. This is for you, Damien and Adlin. I hope you're happy.